Hello Twin Flames and welcome to the DM to the F reading for Saturday. So I really feel this energy today where the masculines are wanting to clear the air with you. They're clearing the throat. There's a lot of throat chakra healing occurring. So they can bring in the words that they want to say. So they can find the words that they truly want to say, whether that's in person or through a message. So I'm going to use the masculine secrets of the soul today. What do they want to express to you today from their soul? What does the masculine want to tell you today? What does he want you to know? Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so it is. Quite a few cards coming out. So these are the things he wants to say to you. And <clears throat> if you are picking up on this block throat chakra, you know, maybe you are clearing the air, feeling like there's something there that needs to come out. That's why he's struggling to say today what he truly wants to say, what's on his mind. He's saying, my thoughts of you get me through the day. My thoughts of you and our future... And our love get me through the day. So he's letting you know he's struggling in his day. So whatever he's doing today, whether he's at work or he's with his children or he's out and about, you know, he's struggling to get through the day. And you thought thinking about you and, you know, your love and your light and your power and the way you care about him, it helps him to get through this day. So any struggles he's going through, remember you are the lighthouse that navigates him around those struggles. You are that light that never goes out, like the brightness of the sun. And even at night, you still feel the presence of the sun. You hold the secrets of my soul. So he's reminding you that you are the truth. You are the, tr the truth, the light and the way. And the saying that, you know, this is what the angels do. I try to say a word and they channel something else. So sometimes the masculines, they, they want to say something. But they say something else. They may blurt something else out. So the masculines can be very misunderstood sometimes because of the way they behave, because they've never felt like this before. They've never been this vulnerable before or experienced love in this way before. So they can act a bit crazy sometimes. And he's saying, you are the one that holds all the secrets of my soul because you are one. So when he accesses all those secrets and he goes within you are right there. He can't forget you. And the thought of you gets him through this day. I can't believe the years I have wasted away from you. So he's also thinking about the past and beating himself up a little bit about it, thinking I've wasted so, so many years, so much time. And also wasted away, you know, he feels like a shadow of his former self. So he knows he wants to live a better life. He wants to become the person he was. And obviously a new version of that person. But if he's lost his confidence, if he feels he's lost himself along the way, and a lot of the masculines do lose themselves in karmic situations, you may look at him and think, wow, he's lost all his confidence, or he's lost weight, or he's put weight on, or he doesn't seem himself. That's because... The person that he used to be has kind of disappeared because he's been stuck in a situation that hasn't served his soul. So he gets reborn, but he brings aspect of the old him back. And that's the truth. So he's saying to you, I want to be me again. I want to be me, but I want to be the enlightened version of myself that I've come here to be. And I can't believe I've wasted away. And I've wasted years and years and years without you. And it doesn't matter how long or how short you've been on this journey for, because some of you will have connections with your twin that go back years and years. Others, it will be a newer connection. But remember, you are eternal. There is no beginning and there is no end. So you've known each other for lifetimes, for eons. And the angels are wanting you to know that those secrets are within your soul, that you are eternal, that you are forever, that you always find the way. And he's saying this to you. I don't want to waste any more time. So the angels know, and you know, divine feminine, that there are no wasted years. You may think we've wasted so much time. You know, time's getting away from us because time is the one thing that we can't find more of. You know, there is a limited amount of time in this lifetime, but everything is in divine time. So we have to learn to trust the process of our life. And, you know, everything we go through, all those kind of wasted years that he is referring to here aren't wasted at all 
Because during those years, we learn, we grow and we evolve and we go through significant change and significant life lessons to get where we are now. So he's coming into this awareness now of he doesn't want to waste any more time, but really he hasn't wasted any time. And that's also what the angels want you to know. And that can be triggering when we think, well, yeah, we could have had 10 years together by now, but you wouldn't have been ready. So we have to be ready. When I think back on my journey and the way that I've evolved to be in union, everything happened exactly as it was meant to be with catalysts and connections and life experiences and changes that grew me along the way. And without all of that, I wouldn't be ready. So we have to remember that even though we feel we've wasted time, there is no wasted time. And he's saying, I love you. Easy to think, yet so hard to express, but I do love you. And that's where he is right now, wanting to clear the air, clear his throat, <clears throat> speak his truth. And he's saying to you, my thoughts of you get me through the day because I love you. He may be struggling to speak those words or write those words or tell you those words, but he's saying it's easy to think he's because it's the truth. But it's so hard for me to express. But I do love you nevertheless. So he does love you. And he's saying, I feel physically unwell when I put myself through the pain of thinking that you could be with someone else. And they give me fear. So he's, the fear is that you're going to move on, that you may be with someone else. He puts himself through physical pain by thinking those things. And, you know, there's usually no reason whatsoever why he would think those things because you don't give him any reason to, you know, think you're with someone else or to worry about those things. But it's his own fear. It's his own irrational mind. It's the way that sometimes we can blow things out of proportion too. If we see them with someone, it may be very innocent, but our mind makes it something, you know, painful. So, and that's what he's doing here. So he may not be seeing an actual physical picture of you on social media. He may see that you're having a good time and enjoying yourself, which is absolutely right. Don't dim your life for, you know, to make him feel better. Live your life. Make him feel, you know, like he needs to do something about this by living life and loving life. And that doesn't mean you have to go out partying, Divine Feminine. It just means love the life you're in. Enjoy each moment, even if you're sitting at home watching Netflix. Just enjoy each moment and he'll feel that. He'll feel that lift of vibration. He'll feel it. So, you know, that codependent behaviour that we have as a divine feminine that we heal, where we're holding on, pressuring, contacting them all the time, wondering what they're doing, checking on the social media, when we're no longer doing that. Because we're giving back to our self and loving life. He feels a lift in vibration. And he starts getting very curious then. Where are you? Who are you with? Who are you paying attention to now? So in his mind, he creates a picture of what's going on. And he starts to feel physically sick because he knows without you, he, he, he doesn't work. He doesn't work right. His body doesn't work right. His mind doesn't work right. Because you are one. So everything is guiding him to you everything is showing him the way and he's saying this is the one this is the big one okay and that's why i really loved it when i channeled this deck because this is the main message we need to hear as a divine feminine by allowing you to, by allowing me to contact you so this is what your masculine is saying but when you take that step back divine feminine which i've spoken about in today's divine feminine reading when you take that step back, by allowing your masculine to contact you, you are teaching your masculine to ask for what they truly want and to be true to themselves. So the message is, by allowing me to contact you, you are teaching me to ask for what I want and to be true to who I am. And that's so powerful. If you can, screenshot that card. Screenshot that card because... That's what you need to remember when you're feeling that pull towards it because he's always wishing that you contact him, but that doesn't mean you should. And I did a video on that the other night, you can find in the playlist. But he's saying, let me contact you. 
allow me to learn this lesson. You are my greatest teacher and you are teaching me to ask for what I want and to be true to who I am. So he needs to be true to himself by being himself and coming out into the open about this love and you're teaching him to reach out and ask you for what he wants, which is your love and your time, thank you, and your attention. You are my everything and so much more. And he's saying that, do you realise how important you are to me? You are my everything and so much more. And when I push you away, this is the time when I need you the most. And it's so true. When he's acting crazy, blocking you, ghosting you, not responding to you, being indifferent with you, that's the time he needs you the most. And he's so afraid of being vulnerable and giving you that love. He acts the other way. He goes the other way. And he questions his own behaviour. And he thinks this is the best thing that's ever happened to me, this love. This person is the most amazing person. So why am I, why am I destroying it? Why am I demonstrating things that don't show or demonstrate how I truly feel? So he's questioning it. So allowing that time to move forward. And what he's doing is he's showing you he's already on his way. He's already on his way. He's moving towards you and he's showing you the truth. And someone said, you know, because he's got his back to you, he isn't moving towards you and it's perception. It's perception. I see this card as him moving towards his truth and moving towards you and leaving behind the things that he no longer needs. But he's also showing you his back there because he knows he's processing and he's coming back. And that's what he wants you to know. So give him time because you're teaching him right now to ask for what he wants and to be true to who he is. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.